Hello, and welcome back. We're here again for A Course in Miracles uh, workbook and lesson 13 today. So I will proceed with reading the lesson, which is A Meaningless World Engenders Fear. Today's idea is really another form of the preceding one, except that it is more specific as to the emotion aroused. Actually, a meaningless world is impossible. Nothing without meaning exists. However, it does not follow that you will not think you perceive something that has no meaning. On the contrary, you will be particularly likely to think you do perceive it. Recognition of meaninglessness arouses intense anxiety in all the separated ones. It represents a situation in which God and the ego challenge each other as to whose meaning is to be written in the empty space that meaningless provides. The ego rushes in frantically to establish its own ideas there, there, fearful that the void may otherwise be used to demonstrate its own impotence and unreality. And on this alone, it is correct. It is essential, therefore, that you learn to recognize the meaningless, the meaningless and accept it without fear. If you are fearful, it is certain that you will endow the world which, with attributes that it does not possess and crowd it with images that do not exist. To the ego, illusions are safety devices as they must also be to you who equate yourself with the ego. The exercises for today, which should be done about three or four times for not more than a minute or so at most each time, are to be practiced in a somewhat different way from the preceding ones. With eyes closed, repeat today's idea to yourself then open your eyes and look around, look about you slowly saying, I am looking at a meaningless world. Repeat this, uh, this statement to yourself as you look about, then close your eyes and conclude with, a meaningless world engenders fear because I think I am in competition with God. You may find it difficult to avoid resistance in one form or another to this concluding statement. Whatever form such resistance may take, remind yourself that you are really afraid of such a thought because of the vengeance of the enemy. You're not expected, you're not expected to believe the statement at this point. And will probably dismiss it as preposterous. A mouthful with that one again. Note carefully, however, any signs of overt or covert fear which it may arouse. This is our first attempt at stating an explicit cause and effect relationship of a kind which you are very inexperienced in recognizing. Do not dwell on the concluding statement and try not to even think of it except during the practice periods. That will suffice at present. So if you're seeing something in this world that is meaningless, then you're seeing something that does not exist. 
So the ego thought system that we're doing in this process of the course, a study of the course and practice of the course is that the ego is an impersonal thought system. It is not who we really are. It's not real. It is meaningless. Now, by undoing the ego thought system, we are doing so, remember, to uncover, to uncover those thoughts of, of love, thoughts of God, the word of God, the truth. Now, in terms of, of the separation that is spoken of in the course, the ego self believes, again, this is a thought, it believes that we are separated from God. We are not. We're not separated from God. We only believe that we are. And we are never, again, never separate from God. God is always with us. We, we keep generating fear and lack and insecurities with thinking that we're on our own, with thinking that we are separated from God. And when we continue to entertain the, these, this ego thought system, which is meaningless, then we keep engendering that fear, you know, and, and, and the, the lack and insecurities and the suffering. So as we join with God and nothing of God is meaningless, when we join with God, fear is not present. Only love is present with God. Because fear and love cannot coexist. So the lesson again is, let me, is a meaningless world engenders fear. I am looking at a meaningless world. A meaningless world engenders fear because I think I am in competition with God. Okay, that's lesson 13. And um, you know, these concepts of the course uh, still may seem a little bit um, foreign to you. Or you, you know, if you're not quite understanding them as of yet, that is okay. Just continue to do the lessons and practice as directed. All right. We'll see you on the next video for lesson 14. Have a blessed, love-filled day.